I just wanted to know, have you eaten today? You say, why are you so concerned? How about your children? What school are they going to? I hear that you have a program in Lagos. Do you have a house to stay there? Please, there's one of my friends. Some, do you need any help at the airport? Um, I hear your child is relocating. There is a scholarship program. Um, I have a slot. Can I give your child? And you are wondering why this? Help us. Numbers 1-5. Let me draw me to your head again. These are the names of the men that shall stand with you. These are the names of the men that shall stand with you. Joshua Selman, there are names, there are names like you have submitted names. They will stand with you. This is not just for a man of God. Anybody on the business of kingdom advance, there is a roll call. And tonight may God make that roll call. Ah, there are people for your sake. John, where are you? Why have you not helped this pastor? That billionaire man, where are you? I, I told you from January that you will help build a church for a man of God. This is the man of God. Give him all your support. And the man says, yes, sir. And he comes to meet you. I am on a mandate to help you. And he said, no, 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 no. I don't want manipulation. He said, look, I'm a man of integrity. I was sent by God. Where will I get the land? Don't worry. My friend is the director of lands. Where will I get the construction? This is what I'm doing. Where will I get the architects? Don't worry, my younger brother is an architect. Come on now. Everything you need. This is what the Bible means when it says, and God is able to make all grace. All grace. Everything required. You want to step into a place to do ministry. As soon as you step in there, your first prayer, your keyboard is comes, your drummer comes, are we together? Your worshippers, they all come as if they were dragged with a rope. Oh, we are here. Why are you here? Well, we just felt to come and join the prayer meeting. And he said, okay, you take 10 minutes prayer. You sing praise and worship. And the lady raises that prayer, that, that song. And he said, I found my music director. I found the head of prayer. I found the drummer. And someone will say, is it that? How did you gather them? No, you don't have the power to call them. They are brought they are brought they are brought they are brought learn this they are brought man of god you can't gather members nobody has the power to gather members they are brought there is no skill that is enough to gather members human beings are not animals they are brought in honor to these things Ta -da 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 -da. standing issue around your life that requires a man to step in I cry to the God of Sabaoth this night in the name of Jesus while you are asleep may God wake men and position men to see to it that those requests are answered speedily in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I think I've given this story here many times the former Amy in Zaria who died, please sit down, is dead now. One time a gentleman wanted to go to one of the institutions and because of the height requirement, they told him it was too short. And then his parents now led him and they went to the Amia and they said they could not admit that boy because he was too short. And then I was told that the Amia wrote that they should tell the commandant that he's added the height of the boy. Come on, added the height. Do you know what that means? If you are interested in remaining there, the height of this boy has been added by the leverage of men.
I know someone today who is a graduate. He didn't score up to the cutoff point. Far below the cutoff point. And it's not corruption. The teachers had, the lecturers had a slot. The people, they have a slot of who they can bring. Just dragged the boy and kept him comfortably. Let me see who fights you. You can fight me in the office, but when I'm in my house. And that's how that boy just enjoyed and rode through like that. There is something called the leverage of men. The leverage of men. Who is understanding what I'm saying? Now, when Jesus was born, watch this. He paid the price to grow in wisdom, stature, favor, Luke 2, 52. And the Bible says the Holy Ghost representing the presence of God rested upon him. Remember? Matthew chapter 4, chapter 3, and then when you get to chapter 4, the Bible says he was led of the spirit to be tempted of the devil. As soon as Jesus came out, guess who he looked for? Men. Men. Filled with the Holy Spirit. Filled with wisdom. But he knew that if he was to achieve this goal, he needed men. You would think he would ignore men because he had the Holy Spirit. He had power. He started calling them. John, come. Peter, come. Andrew, come. Whatever it is, come. And they made his job easy. Forget about all the troubles that happened within the system. Eventually, he was able to leave to heaven knowing that the assignment will not fail because of the power of men. Let me tell you this. No matter how wealthy you are, if you do not have men, you are poor. No matter how wealthy you are, if you do not have men, you are poor. Let me give you the fourth. Give us this day. Here are 10 reasons why people pray. Be for connection with the divine. Prayer is a way to connect with a higher power, expressing devotion, reverence, and a desire for a relationship with God or the divine. 2. Seeking guidance. Many people pray to seek wisdom, clarity, and direction in their lives, asking for help in making decisions or understanding difficult situations. 3. Comfort and peace. Prayer can provide comfort during times of distress, offering a sense of peace and reassurance that one is not alone in their struggles. 4. Gratitude. Prayer is a way to express thankfulness for the blessings and good things in life, acknowledging the positive aspects of existence. 5. Intercession for others. People often pray for the well-being of others, asking for healing, protection, or blessings for family, friends, or even strangers. 6. Confession and forgiveness. Prayer provides an opportunity for self-reflection, allowing individuals to confess their wrongdoings and seek forgiveness, leading to spiritual cleansing and renewal. 7. Strength and endurance. Through prayer, individuals often seek the strength to endure difficult circumstances, asking for the resilience to face challenges. 8. Worship and Adoration Prayer is an act of worship, where individuals praise and adore the divine, celebrating the greatness and goodness of God. 9. Requesting Needs Many people pray to ask for specific needs, whether material, emotional or spiritual, believing that divine intervention can provide solutions or support. 10. Cultivating a habit of mindfulness. Regular prayer can foster mindfulness, helping individuals remain focused on their spiritual goals and maintain a sense of purpose and direction in life. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures, He leads me beside quiet waters, He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you for liking this message. Thank you for watching this message. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. We love you. We celebrate you. Please share our content with others. Share our content with your follower, your fellow, um, what do I want to say now? 
share our content with your friend, with your family, with your loved ones. Share it with your enemies. Share our content anywhere. Believers Global TV to the whole world. Let's gather and preach the gospel of Christ through the power of media. See you in our next video. Don't forget to share the love of Christ with others and share the love of Christ with your friends, with your family, with your enemies, with your loved ones, with anybody at all. Anybody, human being at all. Share the love of Christ with them. And as you do so, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will, the Lord will keep you. The Lord will make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And uh, what do I want to say again? Follow us on all of our social media platforms on Facebook at Believers Global TV, on the Instagram at Believers Global TV, on the TikTok at Believers Global TV, on YouTube at Believers Global TV. See you, see you, see you later. Bye.